Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's just Janine. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for another video. If you're new, welcome and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. In today's video, I will be making my DIY hibiscus and peppermint hair growth tea, which is a leave-in spray for stimulating hair growth and hair strength. I call this a hair growth tea because every single ingredient in this tea is known to promote and stimulate hair growth. All of the wonderful ingredients in this tea are steeped together to give me the best overall healthy hair and scalp benefits. So if you like to see how I make this wonderful hair tea, just keep watching. So first we have the hibiscus, which is the star of this hair tea. The hibiscus plant stimulates hair growth, it makes the hair smooth and shiny, cleanses the hair, deep conditions the hair, treats dandruff and itchiness in the scalp, combats hair loss, prevents hair breakage, lessens frizz, and also reduces redness and itching of the scalp. Peppermint is good for cooling the scalp and eliminating dandruff. It's also good for relieving dry scalp, stimulating hair growth, and giving your hair an overall healthy shine. Next we have lavender. Lavender helps to promote hair growth. It's also antimicrobial. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Which prevents an itchy scalp or dandruff, thus preventing bacteria and fungi from growing. It combats hair loss, increases blood flow to the scalp, prevents hair loss, and it also strengthens new growth to help and balance the natural oil production of the scalp. Next I'll be using rosemary. Rosemary promotes hair growth due to its high nutritional value and anti-inflammatory properties. It's nourishing to the hair follicle and scalp. It thickens the hair and adds shine, and it also moisturizes dry scalp and prevents flaking and dandruff. Also I'll be using calendula also known as marigolds, which are rich in minerals and antioxidants. Calendula promotes growth of stronger hair by increasing collagen production and circulation in the hair follicles. Next, I'll be using green tea. Green tea stimulates your hair follicles and makes your hair grow faster. Green tea is also a good source of pathanol, which is often used in shampoos and conditioners to strengthen hair and manage split ends while making your hair healthier. It also contains a high concentration of potent antioxidants and is a great treatment of dandruff and excess scalp flaking. Now aloe vera is great for a plethora of things, but for the hair, it acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair smooth and shiny. It promotes hair growth, prevents an itchy scalp, reduces dandruff, and conditions your hair. The peppermint oil is optional, but I'm using it just for more of a stimulating boost plus the overall aroma of the peppermint because it has a common effect when I'm stressed. So I have my boiling water already ready to go so we can go ahead and get started on this DIY and we're just going to steep everything together. Now for this hair tea, I'm not using any specific measurements. I'm actually just using a pinch of this and a pinch of that. So I just eyeball the amount because I know what works for my hair and what doesn't and you can do the same.
another video. I just want to share with you guys my hair tea and what I have been working on to come up with my own leave-in uh, hair tea that is good for hair strengthening as well as hair growth. So there are several different herbs that you can use that promote hair growth. I selected the ones that I preferably like, um, mainly peppermint and uh, hibiscus. Uh, those were the main two and then I just incorporated just some other ones that also are good for hair growth that you hear about a lot of the times that are very common. I wanted something that would promote hair growth and stimulate hair growth and the other reason why I want to do this tea was because I'm cutting back on the rice water. Not that the rice water is not working but I'm cutting it down to instead of doing it once a week I'm doing it every two weeks and that's mainly because I don't want a protein overload with the rice water. So although the rice water is working I want to switch it up and still use something different uh, when I'm not using the rice water that's still going to stimulate and promote hair growth. So I said why not do a hair tea. I can also use this during the week, a couple times during the week when I just want to refresh my hair. But this is mostly going to be um, for my scalp and for my, my roots and for my scalp is mainly what this is meant for but I will spread on my hair as well. This hair tea just it just opens up my, my pores on my scalp. It just leaves this cooling sensation. It's not over tingly. It's not burning. It's just a nice cool refreshing feel on my scalp and I really really like it. And I will say also that my hair has been growing. There's a section of my hair in the back like right here kind of like towards the, the bottom portion of my scalp that was just having a hard time growing and I have noticed here lately between doing the rice water because I never stopped doing the rice water the rice water and then using the um, the hair growth elixir between those other two things my hair has been really growing and I have major shrinkage so it doesn't appear that my hair is growing but it is when I stretch my hair out it, it definitely has length it's more rounded out now now that the back finally caught up there's just like this this middle section it was just not growing and it finally has grown out it's finally caught up to the rest of my hair so the process of this hair tea is very simple basically you're just going to focus on your scalp and your roots just going to spray it onto your scalp and just gently work it in for anywhere to three to five minutes and then just style your hair as normal so that's pretty much all I do so I'll just show you I'll just take down just this part of my hair because I want y'all to see me actually use this stuff I don't want y'all think you know she well she didn't use it <laughs> something must be wrong with it and I've already used some of it because um, as you can see I'm in a different shirt from the beginning of the video because I've been out all day I mowed the yard and just different things so I've changed and I did use this in in the meantime so that's why it's a little low but um, I just basically just take just just section my hair anywhere and just focus on your scalp just focus on your scalp just spread in there and just massage it in just give yourself just a good old scalp massage I would recommend doing this every day because you don't want moisture overload as well so again this is my hibiscus and peppermint hair tea so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it does help my channel and also don't forget to subscribe and comment below it's just Janine I will see you guys on the next video bye guys